Hi, Mark here from PondAlgeSolutions.com, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about pond fountains. You know, a lot of the time we will emphasize to people when they're looking to aerate a pond that you really should go subsurface, that you should aerate from the bottom up, particularly when you're dealing with water quality problems like algae. But the truth is, in shallower waters, or if you're trying to improve the aesthetic appearance of a pond, a pond fountain is truly beauty with great benefits. As you can see behind me, this is a bell-shaped pattern of, of uh, a fountain here, and you can see the water is actually being sprayed up in the air. It comes back, falls back upon the surface, and that area where uh, the water is penetrating the surface of the pond is where the aerating is actually taking place. There's a great deal of oxygen being transferred into water at that point. Wherever the surface tension is broken, you're able to transfer water or oxygen into the water itself. Also, the circular movement underneath the water, the draw up into the fountain and then back around is helping to improve the circulation under the surface, which is also hugely beneficial to fighting stagnation. So I don't necessarily like to use fountains alone in deep water ponds, ponds that have 10 feet or more in depth, because it can't affect the lower part of the pond. You can use them in conjunction with a subsurface aerator if you want the appearance on the top or to aerate the top couple feet better, uh, so fountains work great there. Or if you have a shallow water pond, something in the neighborhood of eight feet or less, then I think a fountain is definitely a viable solution or an option when you're looking to improve the aeration and circulation in a pond. So as always, if you have any questions on pond fountains, pond aeration, pond algae, anything having to do with your pond, be sure to contact us at pondalgesolutions.com. We'll, we'll be happy to help.